Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. So I did take a little bit of a step back from YouTube for the past couple months, but I'm coming back full swinging now. We're here on a set of Corsa with Chris Forsberg's Nuts Energy Drinks, FD, Competition Z, and we're on a mountain road. This thing is super loud and super rowdy. Can't believe I missed this FD pack coming out on Voss, and I'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys. But we're gonna go full send and see if we cannot put this thing in the ditch, let's get to it. I close my hood and my trunk. I think my trunk is closed. I'm not sure. Yep, trunk's closed. Okay. Yeah, this car is so loud. All right, well. Steering wheel says never lift, so. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh man. I can tell you this is gonna be a bit of a rowdy one. Oh. Driven down the second on there. Gonna be putting the, the Mozo equipment to work today. Moza R12 wheelbase. We do have our Energy Innovations uh, 350 millimeter quad drift wheel, deep dish. On for today's episode, we do have the sequential shifter. It's definitely a necessary thing in these competition cars. As well as our handbrake. Oh man! So die. I'm uh, actually very. Ooh! I looked away for a second. Oh man. Don't look away. Don't look at the secondary monitor when you're driving. We almost uh, took Forsberg's car out. I probably just stayed in third on that one. But uh, this is definitely uh, throwing myself back into the mix here. Like I said, I did take a little bit of time away, but we're back now. Going to be uh, kicking it back here on the channel. Got a lot of new FD cars and stuff like that, and some uh, new games and things I'm going to bring here to uh, breathe some life in here. So, if you guys are here. I really appreciate you guys coming back. Four episodes for a new one. Like I said, we're getting back in the swing of things and sort of throw myself here, Tale of the Dragon with Chris Forsberg's new Z with FD season right around the corner. Oh man. Surprisingly able to keep this motor up in its power band. Normally I have issues with non V8s but uh, we got plenty of V8s in the the FD pack, you know, we have the whole RTR crew. We also have Dean Carney's car, Rome Charpentier, or Charpartier, however you want to say it. We also have uh, Ryan Turk and Frederick Osville's car in there, too. But rather than taking this car out on an FD track like everybody's going to be doing, let's bring it out here onto the mountain roads and shred this thing in the mountains. Oh man, I'm so glad I have a sequential. Oh, we're gonna slow creep this one. No! Too much left foot brake. Because if I did not have that, I would not have probably found my gear. I probably would have uh, misshifted. I can set all these the link to the car pack down in the description. You can get it off Boston. car is actually quite fun. I know uh, the virtual, oh, Chris Forsberg car, driven by Brandon Garner, and of course Chris Forsberg are probably in much better hands than mine right now, but you know, him being another Moza partner. Very good, we'd start our comeback here. And Chris Forsberg's Nosity. Oh man. 
Uh. Oh, we're gonna die. Almost. We almost died there. The plane's coming out the front. Oh, that was a dirty brake grab. You know, if this was actually his car, we'd be totally out of uh, fire spy like a long time ago. Miracle of a set of Corsa. No tire wear. Drip mod. Oh, oh man, because we'd also would have flat spotted it with those. 30 handbrake grabs. And, you know, we're going to throw down the uh, replay after I'm done driving so you guys can enjoy the sights and sounds of this rowdy car here through the mountains. If there's another car you guys want to see take on the mountain, let me know down in the comment section down below. Got a little uh, project that I've been working on also behind the scenes. Something not a... Not crazy... Uh, driftable yet but it will be I'm actually quite surprised that we're uh, still alive so I say that we go in the dirt our drop we're good Whew. Left foot brake saved my life there. Give me handbrake. But on these tight corners with how grippy this car is set up right now, this is a base setup. So I didn't really adjust anything other than my brake bias and brake pressure. Oh, yep. Took it on a second there. of the sequential. I don't know, I just love the click of it. Definitely uh, putting this Moza base ooh, through its paces here. I knew that corner was coming. That's the corner I always myself off of because it's deceiving and you catch so much speed leading up to it that it's like oh I got this then you don't got this and you're off the mountainside and the car's wadded up in the trees two a lot of clutch kicks up Man, I don't, I don't know if some of the other cars would be able to handle this with how big those other cars are. Like, Dean Kearney's Viper? That car might not be able to make it through the mountain roads here. And that's that. We completed it with Forsberg Z. So, we're gonna put the replay on. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys come back for another episode here on the channel. And always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. I'm going to let you guys lay back and listen to Chris Forsberg Z and Tail Dragon or Deals Gap, however you want to do it. Mountain Road Drifting.